Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm here to show you how I farmed Falkreath Hold for Pillar of Nern set and Crimson Diamond Lead for the Belharz's Band, the new mythic that came out with the Deadlands. I'll be showcasing the route I took and briefly talk about all the chest spawns that I've managed to find within my 50 runs or so of grinding this place. For the sake of time, I'll be skipping all ads that are skippable. Anyways, here's the run. So you can skip all the ads up to the first boss here by just following this path. So you just go up and then there's a gap here. I don't think you need to jump I did jump and then just hug the wall or the rock I guess like the ledge whatever you want to call it and then just go up this right here and then just keep going straight and then you'll get to a ledge once you get to the ledge just jump off and then you'll be greeted with the first boss So there's really nothing special about this boss, just make sure that Minotaur doesn't have you attack you, otherwise it will one-shot you. Other than that, it doesn't really, the boss doesn't really do anything. So coming up here, behind like where I'm looking at right now, there's a chest spawn, that's the only one I managed to find in this whole area. There is a Siege Mammoth fight, this one takes forever, the only thing you want to watch out for is just don't stand in front of it when it heavies. It will one shot you and this fight does take a minute because this thing freaking moves around every two seconds moving forward after you go through the gate behind this tree right here i think there's a chest spawn uh for every run i chose to hug this oh yeah those meteors they're terrible absolutely terrible i chose to hug this left side first but i don't think i've ever found a chest here so there's that and then I believe the first chest spawn that I always get is this one coming up yeah right here so there's one there and then there's also like this area that I'm going to right now right here I've never found a chest here so for whatever that means um I just keep going through yeah like hordes of ads in here there's a chest spawn I think it's behind like a crate or something. And then there's sometimes a chest spawn right there where I pause for a second here too. And then on the other platform deck looking thing, yeah, right here, that's another common chest spawn. So usually around here is where I like to die because the next boss fight is coming up and then all the hats can get de -aggroed. So moving on. This boss fight, there's really nothing much to it. You just kill the three adds, pick up their souls, and put them in the corresponding, or as a matter of fact, any of the glowing portal things. And then once you do that twice, and then you kill the boss, that's about it. He doesn't hit hard or anything. So go through the tunnel here. So first off, in this small corridor, Past the corridor in this room, there's a chest spawn here. Moving through, there's another small room to the side. And before that, I guess I found a chest here. So here's that small room I was talking about. There's usually a chest spawn in the back somewhere there. I'm not 100% sure if it's left side or right side. But you can ignore all these ads and then just run into the boss room. Uh, make sure you purge these souls to start the boss fight. The only thing you have to watch out for is after a certain amount of time or after a certain amount of skeletons have died. Or I don't know if it's time based or skeleton death based. Anyways, what he's going to do is he's going to cast that like that on you and your feet are going to glow red or you're gonna have an indicator below your feet. If it stacks up, just make sure you hold block or shield to reduce the damage. There's another chest spawn where I'm standing right now. And I believe there's a chest spawn here. And then now we're right before. So there's a chest spawn on that side area next to the crate. And then there's three minotaurs here that you can kill. But if you're able to stealth past them, you can just ignore them. So there's only two things you really have to worry about on this boss fight. One is the shout. On normal, it won't kill you, so it's not that big of a deal, but it will get you super low. 
Second off, depending on how much resistances you have, he does like throw a fireball at you and it may or may not one shot you. So just make sure you watch for that. And then, yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty simple boss fight. Closing thoughts per usual. This is one of the better DLC dungeons to farm, considering how long and tedious the other ones are. Uh, Pillar of Nern is a great set. It could be bodied or run on jewelry and weapons for mag and stam. It actually performs relatively close to the best sets right now, such as Kinra. And also that mythic, the Harzus Band, looks pretty fun to play with. I've been able to use it a couple times and it's not bad. Uh, I definitely want to come up with some cool builds using that. That wraps up the guide portion of this video. I'd like to say thank you for watching my video and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more uh, dungeon guides with chest locations, uh, let me know as well. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't and thanks again.